Alright, so I've had quite a few requests for ninth grade SHSAT problems, and we're going to start those here in this video. This question says that the volume of a cube is 64. What is the total surface area? So remember, of course, that the volume of a cube, um, to find that, we take the side of a cube and then cube that, right? In other words, we take the side and we multiply it by itself three times. This goes back to the idea that the volume of a prism, if you re remember a rectangular prism, that the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. And that's the volume of a rectangular prism. I'll put volume of RP. Now, a cube is a rectangular prism, except what? Well, if we draw a cube, what we want to remember is that the length, width, and height are all equal on a cube. So really, we can just define length, width, and height with one variable, and that's the side. So that's where this formula comes from. And then the surface area, to find the surface area, we find the area of one of the faces, which is a square on a cube. And to find the area of a square, we multiply one side by the other. So the, the TSA here, or total surface area, it's going to equal the side times the side, side squared, and then that multiplied by what? Well, there are six faces, right? So times six. So we're looking in this question for connection between the volume and total surface area. And they tell us the volume is 64. And that means that some side length cubed, so S cubed, is going to equal 64. Well, to solve here, we take the cubed root of 64. In other words, what number times itself three times is going to equal 64. And that, of course, is 4, right? Because 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So that's our side, our, our variable s. Now we can just apply that to our total surface area to find the answer. So side squared, which is 4, 4 squared, which is 16, times 6 will be our total surface area. 6 times 16 is what? Well, 6 times 10 is 60, plus 6 times 6 is 36, and there's our answer, 96. So in, in this question, the answer is B. All right, hope that helped.